Wendy, thankfully for her, is out in Colorado hiking the mountains with a bunch of folks that she works with, and I hope she's having an awesome time. I myself just returned from a vacation, much needed, and it was really quite delightful. So what I wanted to do first is talk about my biggest takeaway from the last 30 days. So for the last 30 days, my biggest takeaway is, is fend, fending off impatience. So then I guess another way of saying it is consistency does pay off. A lot of times uh, when you're trying to get something accomplished, maybe you're testing out a new goal, maybe you're on your website and you're doing an A-B test and you're really trying to increase conversions or increase traffic or something, right? And you set a goal, maybe it's 60 days and you're 15 days in and nothing's happened and you're starting to panic. This is, I'm speaking truth from myself right now, right? These types of things happen all the time, but I have seen time and time again that sticking to the plan versus making changes erratically without any type of you know data to back up other than your gut feeling, um, that never works out for anyone. So sticking with the plan, even if at the end of the 60 days you find out what doesn't work, you have a lot more information to validate why. And so that is my biggest takeaway for the last 30 days. I have two big wins that I've experienced in thanks to Wendy's Side of Bacon. So if you haven't subscribed to Wendy's Side of Bacon yet, it's on her LinkedIn profile page and you'll see it under her newsletters. It is really, it's a weekly message uh, that comes directly from her in her voice and her tone uh, that she talks about just her experiences running an organization and being the amazing person that she is. And since she's not here, I'm going to continue to talk about how great she is. <laughs> um, the two most the two thing takeaways I took I've taken from her uh, content is one the value of staying present and two the value of putting yourself in preconceived uncomfortable situations. So the first one is being present. So I have found that whether I am on a Zoom meeting or I'm focusing on a specific task, when I put the blinders on and do nothing but focus on that specific task. I find that my productivity skyrockets. Look, we're in a world right now, I see I have 10,000 tabs open, I have Slack, I have text messages, I have my email inbox, I get notifications from my kiddos, I have my phone, I have all these different devices. Um, I put on Do Not Disturb and I focus on what I want to get done and I'm present. If I'm in a Zoom meeting, I go full screen and I stay in front of that. That has been an invaluable um, experience for me. Some of this, so like doing the full screen Zoom thing was kind of a duh situation, but I wasn't doing it, right? I was doing it, I was making it a smaller screen so I could do other things and multitask instead of staying in that meeting and being 100% there. When I'm 100% there, the meeting goes so much better. So that's the first lesson. The second is the value of putting yourself in preconceived uncomfortable situations. So look, I guess it's easy to say that nobody wants to be uncomfortable, but maybe not. Maybe the reason why you believe something is uncomfortable is because you have convinced yourself of just that. So one of Wendy's sides of bacon talks about how she had a preconceived um, idea of who this person was. She, the person kind of annoyed her. And so what she did instead was she put herself in front of that person at the next meeting that she was at and got to know who they were. And it turns out, guess what? They're amazing right? And that is something that I think can be applied to multiple situations. So whether it's a call that you don't want to have that you know you should, or maybe just in general, when you're working with partners, you're working with staff, you're working with customers, and you're not sticking to what you know is the right thing, which is just remove the BS from the conversation and just have the real, you know, talk about hard facts. That's something that we talked about during our retreat, which was like, just acknowledge the hard facts. These are re this is the reality, not assumed reality, the actual facts. And let's take those and then dial it back and, and work from there. And I really feel like that is a super important experience and it's going to make conversations way more productive. So that's something I've been applying across the board and it really has made a lot more, uh, made me, quite frankly, a lot more effective. So it's a great thing. Thank you, Wendy, for that. 
I would love to just get your feedback on content bacon. So we do this podcast, this vlog, if you will, for our customers. And I want to hear from you. And of course, if you feel uncomfortable putting something on LinkedIn, just email me. I really want to get your feedback on your experience of working with us. And ideally, of course, it's something we could use and put on our site because look, we're a services organization at the end of the day. And we want to, people want to know what it's like to work with us. So I want to hear from you. And I really want to understand you know, what works and what doesn't. So if any of you that are listening or watching this have an, um, have an interest in having that dialogue, please, I would love for you to respond and let me know. Or Wendy, if you'd prefer to talk to Wendy directly, um, that's fine too. I'm sure she'd be open to it. And then as a recap, I just want to say, you know, Fend off the impatience. Focus on consistency. Stick to your plan. That will work. Second, the two big wins was the value of staying present and the value of putting yourself uh, in uncomfortable situations. And a lot of the times, those uncomfortable situations are just assumptions and not actual facts. Focus on those hard facts when you're having conversations, and you're going to see a lot more of a productive conversation. And then, of course, please let us know what it's like working with us. If you could leave a review on either Google or HubSpot or LinkedIn or wherever, that'd be amazing. Or if you just want to reach out to me or Wendy, please feel free to do so. So that concludes this episode of Chewing the Fat. I look forward to hearing your responses and talking to you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.